What is going on with y'all, man? It is Black Balloon, and I am coming back with another video, so y'all already know what's going on. All right, y'all. Now, check this out, y'all. I knew we was going to be coming back with another video about Rich Homie Quan because they have now put out the official police report, right? And I heard uh, Rich Homie Quan's dad on the radio today. He actually said that they, I think they have the toxicology report back and he's given permission for the results to be released to the fans because he wants to be transparent with how his son supposedly died and he wants to use it as a moment to uplift and spread awareness, right? Because supposedly, you know, he had a little problem, right? So y'all remember the last video we did where we were talking about them changing the age to Rich Homie Kwan being 33 years old you know, basically for a free Masonic ritual, you know, to complete this ritual that it may have been surrounding his death, right? Because this was very unexpected. And when it's this unexpected, this is more energy harvesting right here. This is when the devil is in the details. And a lot of the times this is a ritual. This is an industry sacrifice. They have officially changed his date, his born date to October 4th, 1990, right before our eyes. I still have the original um screenshot of when his born date was october 4th 1989 the crazy thing about it you know all this didn't happen until he died so i think now you know from all the comments and people saying they watch interviews and he said he's actually said that he was 34 you know plus him having that song 34 off of one of his albums i think the debut album and um i think he did a video for it as well we can we can safely say that this is very ritualistic. Even the number 34, um, we obviously already know what the number 33 represents. But this is crazy. I've never seen this. They actually changed his birth date on Google, y'all. This is the screenshot of the original date. It was October 4th, 1989. This is actually changed now. And look, they changed it here too. Died September 5th, 2024, age 33 years old. I actually can't believe they changed it on Google. And what they are doing is mocking God. There's power in the number 33. And this is their way of every chance they get. They sacrifice these artists who have these Faustian bargains, who've done deals with the devil. Every chance they get, they use the number 33. This is why they did it. This is why they changed it to number 33. That's why they took Nipsey at 33 and so many others, you know, at the age of 33. It's it's just to mock God. It's to mock Jesus Christ at any chance they can get. That's the ritual. Any chance the devil gets to mock Jesus, he will do it. And that's why they changed his age to 33. I think it's pretty, you know, simple to understand by now. That 33 holds a lot of power in their rituals. What do y'all think about this? Like, I think this is the, this is very blatant. And look, we got some new details to read from the report on the night that he died. And, you know, I think y'all gonna find this very interesting, right? So it says Atlanta police have released the initial incident report from the death investigation of Atlanta rapper Rich Homie Quan. The rapper, whose real name was DeQuantez Lamar, died on Thursday at the age of 34 after his girlfriend found him unresponsive inside their Southwest Atlanta home. Mind you, this article I'm reading from was just put out today, and they're still saying he's 34 years old. So I think we can, you know, we can probably move past the point that they changed his age for this to be, you know, aligned with these Freemasonic rituals, right? They definitely got us talking and they definitely got us, you know, wondering what the hell is going on. All right. So it says an incident report posted Monday by investigators revealed new details from the morning Lamar was found unresponsive. An officer who responded to the home spoke with Lamar's girlfriend and brother who were both at the house. But check this out. Very, very 
suspicious right here this raises a lot of red flags we got more numerology to the ritual around 3 a.m lamar's brother said he found the rapper asleep on the floor near the kitchen counter y'all already know they had to add this 3 a.m in there so 3 a.m rich homie kwan's brother found him asleep on the floor near the kitchen counter he advised me, he, so he's telling this to the police officer, that it was very unusual because he had food in his mouth. He lifted him up and put him on the sofa, the officer wrote in the report. Lamar's girlfriend said she woke up around 6.45 a.m. to get the kids ready for school, not just her son, the kids, and noticed that he wasn't in their bedroom. She spotted him asleep on the couch and left to drop the kids off at school. When she returned home, she saw the rapper was still asleep and she went back to bed. But guess what? She did not say that when she called 911. This is new details. She told police she woke up around 11 a.m. to check on Lamar and observed that his body was cold and then called 911, which we know she called his dad first before she called 911. Then they rushed to the Grady Memorial Hospital where doctors pronounced him dead. Now, just right off back, we know the most odd thing is the fact that his brother found him asleep on the floor near the kitchen at 3 a.m. The girlfriend woke up basically four hours later, got the kids ready for school and noticed that he wasn't in their bedroom. He was asleep on the couch, which means he was already dead. But the question we got to ask his brother woke up, right? Found him sleep on the floor. That's it. We don't get no details. You know, he woke up when I picked this heavy sleep body up. He didn't say, hey, man, I fell asleep. I passed out on the floor with food in his mouth. Mind you, has food in his mouth. We, we don't get nothing else. All we get is that we found him. He found him on the floor with food in his mouth. He pit, He lifted him up and he put him on the sofa. We don't get anything else. We don't get that he woke up when he lifted him up. Nothing. We just He just picked him up, put him on the sofa. He still got the food in his mouth, I guess. Now, mind you, the girlfriend said when, you know, she felt that he was cold and rolled him over or something like that, he was foaming at the mouth. Question we got to ask is where is the food that was in his mouth? Did the food fall out his mouth or something when the brother picked him up? It fell on the floor or did the brother take the food out his mouth? Was he dead already? Was the brother high as hell with him and didn't want to be responsible for it? So he picked him up while he was dead and put him on the sofa and just didn't say nothing so the wife would find him? Or did they both know that he was already dead and they waited four or five hours to make this look more normal that when they woke up, they would have a story to tell that they woke up and found him that way? Or was this just something that was completely more sinister? And this is the story that we are getting. Because we wasn't there. We didn't see nothing. We haven't seen, you know, you didn't see a body. You don't know what exactly happened to Rich Homie Kwan. And the fact that she didn't say on the 911 call anything about going back to sleep. And one thing none of us noticed about the 911 call and I'll play the beginning of it right here again for y'all. None of us actually notice that in the beginning of the call, it was a different person who answered the 911 call. When it started and it said beep and then asked, do you need, you know, ambulance, police, blah, blah, blah. That was a different woman from the lady who asked her, do you have a defibrillator? That's very odd, right? For people, you know, that have called 911, you never get transferred to another person. It started off with a different woman. Listen to, I'm a player. Listen to the women's one, one, voice. Operator 7214, what is the location of your emergency? All right, you need police, fire, or ambulance? I need an ambulance. Tell me exactly what happened. Um, My boyfriend, he's been asleep on the couch. 
um, since this morning. Well, he never came to bed last night, sleep on the couch. I left him on the couch before, before I took my son to school this morning and put a blanket over him. 11 operator 7214, what is the location of your emergency? All right, you need police, fire, or ambulance? I need an ambulance. Tell me exactly what happened. It completely went to another person. That's the odd, that's very odd, almost as if this was like another recording. But th it, it was a smooth transition. It wasn't a, okay, hold on, let me pitch you over to this person. It was literally one person answered the phone, asked the girlfriend a question, and then when it said, beep, do you need da 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 and then next thing you know, it was another woman that was talking. So that's another red flag to me because I've never heard that. We've listened to a bunch of 911 calls. The person that answers the phone is usually the one that goes through the entire ordeal and, you know, guides you to some help comes. But definitely the biggest question about these new details is now we know the brother actually found him first and he was cold to the touch, supposedly by the time the girlfriend touched him which would have been at 11 o'clock, y'all. After 11, she didn't do it. She just noticed he was asleep at 6.45 and she went back to bed. So it's safe to say that Rich Homie Kwan was dead long before. It's safe to say that Rich Homie Kwan was long dead before she actually called the police. And I think this was a lot more sinister than they're pitting out. I think they already knew. I think the girlfriend knew as well. It's either, it's either she didn't know and the brother knew he was there from when he first picked him up and he had food in his mouth. Either they both knew and, you know, they just came up with this story to make it look a little bit more innocent and natural. Or, you know, the brother has a little bit more going on than we may have thought. You know, um, it, it could be as simple as maybe if we want to believe he died this way, maybe the brother got high with him too and he didn't want to feel or have the responsibility or, you know, have the police be suspicious of him because they did drugs together. I don't know. There's a lot of questions to the new details that came out. And as soon as I saw that they actually updated his age and it now says he was really born in 1990, like they definitely, you know, I don't think they, they figured people would be paying attention like this. You know, I, I, it's, it's crazy. They actually changed his birth date to 1990 right in front of our eyes. So, yeah, y'all, I just wanted to come on here and do a quick update, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this, because I thought that was very interesting. And um, now there are a couple of holes and inconsistencies in the girlfriend's story um, that doesn't really make sense. Um, so, yeah, man, y'all, y'all let me know in the comments what, what, what y'all think about this whole thing. I don't think it's over. Um, it'll definitely be interesting to see what the toxicology results say. And uh, maybe we'll know that information in the next couple of days. So um, with that being said, y'all, it's Black Balloon. And I'm going to see y'all soon. I'm out.